Do you want to know something about this man? What? He hasn't got any idea at all of what we're going to do to him. He hasn't, no. He hasn't, no. He hasn't got any idea at all about any one of the number of things that we might do to him. That we might do to him? That we will. Well, some of them. We'll do some of them. Sometimes we do all of them. That can be counterproductive. Bollocks. But anyway, here he is. Here he is, sitting here. And he hasn't the faintest idea of what we might do to him. Well, he probably has the faintest idea. A faint idea, yes, possibly. Have you? What do you say? Let's put it this way. He has little idea of what we might do to him. Of, in fact, what we are about to do to him. Or his wife. Don't forget about his wife. He has little idea of what we're about to do to his wife. Well, he probably has some idea. He probably has some idea after all. He's read the papers. What papers? You're right there. Who is this cunt, anyway? What is he, some, some kind of peasant or, or a lecturer in theology? He's a lecturer in fucking peasant theology. Is he? What about his wife? Women don't have theological inclinations. Oh, I don't know. I used to discuss that question with my mother quite often. What question? Oh, you know, the, the, um, the theological aspirations of the female. What does she say? She said... What? I can't remember. Motherfucker. Fuck pig. You know what I find really disappointing? What? The level of ignorance that surrounds us. I mean, this prick here... Oh, you called him a cunt last time. What? You called him a cunt last time. Now you call him a prick. How many times do I have to tell you? You've got to learn to define your terms and stick to them. You can't call him a cunt in one breath and the prick in the next. The terms are mutually contradictory. You'd lose face in a linguistic discussion group. Take my tip. Christ, would I? Definitely. And you know what it means to you. You know what language means to you. Yes, I do know. Yes, you do know. Look at this man here, for example. He's a first-class example, see what I mean? Before he came in here, he was a big shot. He never stopped shooting his mouth off. He never stopped questioning received ideas. And now, because he's apprehensive about what's about to happen to him, he's stopped all that. He's got nothing more to say. He's more or less called it a day. I mean once, not too long ago. This man was a man of conviction, wasn't he? A man of principle. Now he's just a prick. Or a cunt. And we haven't even finished with him. We haven't even begun. No, we haven't even finished with him. We haven't even finished with him. Well, we haven't begun. And there's still his wife to come. That's right. We haven't finished with him. We haven't even begun. And we haven't finished with his wife either. We haven't even begun. <laughs> <laughs> What are you crying for? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, look, I have to tell you. I've got to tell you. There's no one else I can tell. All right, fine. Go on. What is it? Tell me. I feel so pure. Well, you're right. You're right to feel pure. You know why? Why? Because you're keeping the world clean for democracy. I'm going to shake you by the hand, and so will he, in about 35 minutes. You want it so sinister? Mm. Before you get on your feet and get physical, do you want to go, like, some of the lines that have so much subtext that you, that is never explained in the script. So there's, um... You know what language means to you. Mm. What's that about? As your character, yeah, in character, do you want to do a, a hot seat? Mm. Do you want to do a hot seat? And I'll ask some questions. Can do, yeah. To you two as siblings, Des and Lionel. Let's do it. I need to write down. Actually, we're recording it. I'll write it down when I watch the video. That's fine. Okay, let's be in characters. Right. <laughs> do you want to go through your getting in character process? I'm in my character now. <laughs> 
you mind if I take it? Because I don't know where my thought has gone. Do you yeah. mind if I... Mm-hmm. Cheers. That was a trick question. Okay, so, how do you two know each other? My brother. Okay. What was your family life like at home? We don't have family. Okay. What about parents? You could tell us about our parents. Our parents were very unreliable. However, I feel like they prepped us for what was to come in the future. Mm, What was to come in the future? What did your parents know? They knew what the world was going to become, so that's what they prepped us for. Okay. And what are your opinions on what the world became? Well, depending on the election. What it can become is something out of our capabilities. And I think the higher up that you go, the, the more capability you have. And I think Trump's ideas of what, what America could be is something it never has been. And, and I strongly agree with that. And I don't think our mother ever did. So your mother disagrees with your theology? Our mother does. Our father does not. Okay. Um, according to uh, the torture video that I have, um, you say that language means a lot to you, Lionel. Mm-hmm. What does language mean to you, Lionel? Language to me is important to the outcome of certain situations. I think when our father taught us what to expect of the world and, and how, how to get the things we wanted and the right way to go around it, we didn't get taught, mm. well, especially we, Lionel, the language of how to go around it. We were brought up very proper. So language means a lot to me because that's how I was brought up to be and I was always brought up to have the proper way of life. The proper way of life. Okay. I can't think of much else to ask beyond... Your par- are your parents still around? Neither. Neither of them. What happened? Our father had different views than our mother did. And with the recent election, um, I think they had disagreements in, in which me and my father had views that my mother didn't agree with. And when we get crossed the wrong way, we choose how to decide how we like to respond to those feedback and opinions that we don't agree with. Uh, and Especially my mother didn't agree with how we've dealt with those, so, you know, it's easier to get the negativity out of the way, and I suppose that's what we did. And once my father found out that my version of getting rid of the negativity was rather different to his, he decided to take his own life. Jesus. Okay. Right, I'm going to end that there. That's... That's a hell of a bit of backstory. Okay. Yeah, just throwing throw in there. Just a question, um, just to think, you don't mention the script, you didn't out of character for a second. Then they mention that his mother, his mother. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, oh yeah, yeah. That I did, I did note, I did note, I did notice that whilst we um, read through that. I mean, we could either. You can't change the script. Yeah, we can't change the script. You could still be. Well, so does that make a difference to what the decisions you've made? Because it doesn't mention it's a separate matter. <coughs> mm. I mean. We could have different mums. Maybe I could be. Share the same dad, and that's why we're not yeah. the same. Mm. Or maybe I could be. Or just think of yourself as brothers. Mm. If you 
work so he would you kind of almost brought him up yeah mm. I feel like there has to be a reason behind why I'm so like protective over you. Cause I wouldn't do that if like, you were just my colleague. Like, mm. and how when you say things, I'm like, no, no, it needs to be this way. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring you up to be something like equal as me or better. <laughs> the Lionel could have had a very abusive, yeah, father. I reckon we had different mothers, no, uh, different. Mm. And you'd have let's move cousins because then you'd have completely different parents. I reckon we cousins come, could work. Should we be cousins then instead of brothers? Yeah. Cousins. He's still one. Uh, not no. take ah. So that means that you've got different parents, and I think your parents are way more abusive than mine are. Mm. Are we thinking both sets of parents are abusive on some level? Mm, I reckon my dad taught me how to be how I am now, and that's how I got such a good understanding of it. Mm. And mm. I think my mum didn't understand it, and I think that maybe <coughs> I killed her, or something, maybe and that showed my maybe loyalty to my dad or something mm. weird like that. I mean, your character is, or seems from the script, sane. Mm. So, if something like that was to happen, it would have to be a really well thought out. Yeah, that's what I think. I think thing. my character is very clever, like, mm. like, very much like uh, Ronnie or Reggie, I don't know which one from the Cray Brothers. Yeah. Where he's completely fine. You wouldn't thought of anything different, but he's so clever and he. Mm. Oh, yeah. knows how to, he's got so much power behind him that he gets things done. I think yeah. Des is a lot like that. I think it's definitely worth watching from dusk till dawn mm. and paying attention to, I think it's Seth or one of the Gecko brothers. One of them is insane and one of them is not. And they have a similar relationship to the one in the in Legend or you know anything to do with the craze, except it's a bit more of a contrast, I think there's a real contrast in this script between your character seems quite put together and like you've planned this out to the T and you've got maybe a bit of OCD where you, you want it to go right and that could that could also as well link into the you know how much language means to you if your character's got a bit of OCD you kind of almost got a script in your head of mm. how you wanted this scenario to go. Especially as well with the beginning bit, I think it can be quite comical at the beginning, where where is it? Uh, well, where I'm trying to—it feels like I'm trying to scare Kieran. But anyway, here he is. Here he is sitting here, and he has the faintest idea of what we might do to him. Yeah. And then when you say, "Well, he probably does," like, I mean, he probably does, and that's me like, oh, "I say, well, yeah, he probably does have the faintest idea." But anyway, mm. scaring him again. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that because we need to think about the comedic attributes of it, but I think we should kind of, like you say, keep it towards the start of it, because then it can kind of go slowly from comedic to more so sinister. sinister. Yeah, serious. Yeah, because it could make the audience kind of think, oh, this is just going to be some funny kind of you know, sketch, but then it gets deeper and deeper. Mm. And especially, like, you can tell, like, right at the end, it gets, like, so much more sinister as it goes along. Because, like, they, you know, they're just talking about, like, theology, and then it goes from that mm. to, you know, Lionel talking about how he feels so pure and stuff like that. About basically about to kill someone, he feels so pure because he's yeah. in the world of mm. democracy. Mm. I think it'd be worth, as well as Lionel, um, you can get a bit louder. Yeah, I, I I mean definitely when we get it on the feet, I'm gonna I'm gonna like really shout some lines, like especially like the you know all the cunts because like it would excite him because it really yeah, like jump him down a bit. yeah like I really want to like play on like like f like fidgets yeah like fidgeting a lot like That'd be really ridiculous. like. Notice when Clarice's um, character gets upset by when he says the two contradictory terms, you pick up what they, what he's saying there, because then once you call him a cunt and a thief on the fridge, mm. the two separate sexual organs mm. that they've been saying, that you're contradicting yourself completely, yeah. because they're the two opposites of things. That's true. How that's so important. Yeah, that's like, linked to what Kay said about OCD and... Mm. That becomes such an important factor. Yeah, that's true, actually. Just, just throwing abusive terms and... Um, your character sort of um, really picks up on that and makes him feel bad about it. It might be worth as well. Um, 
I don't know, I feel like as a feedback giver or whatever I am, I can only really say how I would do it. Mm. So it's just different interpretations. Should we end the video there? Yeah. Yeah.